And this is gonna pretty much give away what I have planned, but I don't care. Look at this, one, two, three, four. Any angle we're gonna... It's just crazy how much has been unloaded today. Here we go. What is going on, fellas? Welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see in the background, this is a crazy video. It's totally different than what I would normally make. I kind of grabbed the camera when I normally wouldn't grab a camera, and I filmed everything. Predatory Fins is moving to New York, and this is the video of him pretty much taking down the entire shop, and I purchased over $20,000 worth of stuff from Rodrigo. So watch this video all the way until the end because you gotta see what I bought. Hey there. This is sad to see. Florida's predatory fins is coming to an end. It's unfortunate, very sad, but it means great things and bigger things are also coming. They're actually moving to New York, Long Island, where I was actually born. I was there until I was like four years old, so I'd consider myself born and raised in Florida, but you're moving to Long Island, right? Yes, brother. I'm gonna be an island boy. An island boy, a fish island boy. Can we do that? Can we both be island boys? Yeah, we just gotta put our hair up and color it. I'll get some Cheetos. Anyway, man, what are your thoughts? This is big. Big move, stressful move. It's very stressful, very stressful. Especially when uh, you cut your finger two oh, yeah. seconds after you get we here. Just got, I just got here, so I've been in here already helping him out, and I could almost cut my finger in half. No, you know what it was? He wanted to leave, so he slashed his finger real quick, and then, you know, he was using it as an excuse to False, go home. not true, not true. Dude, I would never cut my finger in half. Pinky promise. Pinky promise. Ah! It is so weird looking over the edge and seeing not a single thing in this pond it just everything is vacant literally straight up empty used to be massive fish in here so rod all your big fish everything's in new york right everything's in new you york. did did you do a video on transferring uh, i did a video catching them have i you gotta finish it? it up yeah all right so if you want to go to predatory fins channel he'll probably have that video coming out soon it's just so weird to see this place just completely empty but i came here to help rodrigo out today not only that i wanted to show you the caferos what i purchased <laughs> from Rodrigo. And this is gonna pretty much give away what I have planned, but I don't care. So I obviously bought the 5,500 gallon aquarium. I bought this whole entire pond. 5,500 gallon pond. It is massive. I did not buy the filtration from them because I'm gonna get my own filtration. But it has four viewing panels. Four different viewing panels to see and look through and watch our beautiful fish swim by. The fish that are in our 3,500 gallon up front at the house, those fish will be in here and they'll obviously be able to grow a lot bigger. Look at this, one, two, three, four. Any angle, we're gonna place it right in the middle of our warehouse, kind of like it is here. So you can just walk all around it. So not only did I drop money on that sucker, I bought something over there, right here. I bought this entire system. But if you look behind it before we get in more detail than that, hey Rod, come no, here. I'm not helping. Can you just come here real quick? Here. I know why he came here. He came here today to help me so I can help him put that together. Look at it. Messed up, bro. I am not plumbing that. Who is it? You. <laughs> I'm gonna fly you back to Florida and pay you to freaking bro, Lisa won't let me come back by myself. Dude, we'll just tell Lisa. We got a boys trip going on. We're going to the Bahamas. All jokes aside, we have this massive system as well, which requires a lot of plumbing, but we'll get to that later. First things first, we gotta get all the water out of these tanks, break them all down, and get them to the house. I don't even know how many tanks are total. How many tanks are there? Let's count. Four, eight, nine. Okay. 18, 19, 20, 21. Damn, you know 21! Bro, you know how to count? Yeah. <laughs> the dropout still knows how to count. It's a big old system, and I wonder what it's for. Look at this, this is a beautiful oh my God. handmade cage. Hand, this is where you could let this float. Yes, and, and then you, you, look, look, there's a latch. So your fish would never, ever die, bro. What's up, man? <laughs> my boy Jordan. As a matter of fact, wait, they don't know. They don't know yet? They don't know. When my building gets built, Guy's gonna be working for me for something. Let's we, go, baby. We don't, we don't know. No one knows what's going let's on. Let's just wait. Let's just, just wait. wait. We're gonna leave it a secret. If you guys have any ideas, you just drop them down in the comments. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's continue on with the vacant predatory fins tour now. He has all his leftover driftwood right here, which is just woo. I wish I could take all of this home. Unfortunately, he needs it. This is crazy. The 12,000 gallon empty blows my mind. There is a chair. It doesn't look like an arapaima, but it is a chair. More systems right here emptied out. This used to be the giant aquarium with everything in it. That's also in New York now. And over here, they are breaking down all of the PVC, which plumbed the entire system over here. I just can't wait to see this pond 
in my building with all of our monster fish swimming by this glass. I think I should get a little discount. There's a lot of sl scratches on here. Hey, Rod. Look at this aerator system. See that? That's kind of crazy. Yeah, you could just reuse it. <laughs> We've uh, loaded up the dumpsters. I've never seen you work this hard. Damn. Subscribe, baby. Damn. Damn. It is 5.11 right now. 5, 5.11. We have gotten the two rows completely emptied. Shelves off. All the tanks up here are still to be done. Ugh. Keep finding these everywhere. We're gonna try to save as many of the two by fours as we possibly can. We actually have to bring all this to my house, put it in the yard for now, and then cover it with a tarp or something until the building is up. Then we're gonna put it on the slab of concrete, then the building is built around it, and then, yeah. This is all the filtration for the system, so we're gonna have to get all that out too. I wanna build a better filtration. Build a better one? All right, we're gonna build a better filtration, so we're gonna scrap all this. New lighting, um, a lot of the stuff will be new, but we're gonna reuse a lot of it as well. Not these lights. It's just crazy how much has been unloaded today. This is all going home with another person. Um, here's all the tops to my tanks. Ain't nobody making YouTube videos of buying uh, 50 plus tanks in one video. The back of the moving truck is fully loaded with, I mean, this is about 50% of the tanks. There is a lot of stuff going on. Bye, are you sure you can handle this? I can handle it. You think you got this? Are you sure? The I tank's handle, the size I, of I you. I can handle the aeropinal thing. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Every time I put a piece of wood into this pile, I save myself about five dollars. Five dollars saved. Here we go. We're gonna store everything, all the tanks, inside the barn we just built the other day. Um, because that's probably the easiest and most covered place I have. Shout out to Rodrigo's family's moving business, actually, because they're helping me out with this. What yeah, I think, I think in the barn was the, it would be the best. It won't be too much longer. That building will be up soon, and then we'll move everything. Okay. It's good to see you, man. We're going to do that about a... Uh, a hundred more times. That's probably just gonna get repetitive if I walk back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> Looks good though. I mean, we have everything gonna be stored to the back of the barn. Probably put the tanks over here with this stuff. And then that way we could still build our barn doors here in the next couple of days. Utilizing our barn that we built already. It doesn't even have horses in it, but it's got all my fish tank stuff in it. Storage is storage, right? It's gonna stay nice and nice and nice over here. Of a nice and nice, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Right, See you, bro. Thank you. A big shout out to America's family moving in storage. That is Rodrigo's dad, actually. And they made this trip 30 minutes, bam, just like that. We have everything we packed yesterday here under the barn. I don't even need to throw a tarp over any of that, I don't think. That is a successful video right there. Thank you all so much for watching. We have just received over 50 tanks coming to the house and we actually have the 5,500 gallon coming this afternoon. So, you know, if we do that, I'll probably just add that footage in real quick right here. Jeez, dude, this is, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is gonna slide down. One in the morning right now. I just woke up out of bed. And there's a 5,500 gallon tank. So guys, we gotta lift the end, because the lip is gonna- My poor neighbors. You're moving body, bro. It's sliding, it's sliding. We good, we good. Keep going. Let's go. Let's go up, bro. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Giant fiberglass pond is just sliding straight to us. That's what's called being smart, bro. Dude, we are genius. 
Slide, 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 beautiful. Now the video's officially over. Subscribe down below so you don't miss out when we set all those tanks up in the fish room. I'll see you right back here in the next one. Peace.